Hey, what is up everybody? I just wanted to take a minute because this kit has gone through so many changes here lately that it needs, we need to go over it again. So we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna start with this. This is the same, we're using a Tascam interface, all eight channels. We never stopped recording from the last video. So that's gonna be extra long. All right, so laptop, interface, drums. So we're gonna start with these hi-hats. I get more questions about these hats than anything I've ever owned. These are K light hats. And I always, I put the bottom on the top because I, I believe, I feel like it makes a much crisper attack and it just hits way harder. So that's what I use for hi-hats. So bottom hat on top, top hat on the bottom. And then immediately right up from that, we've got the classic custom 20 inch dual Minel crash. And then we have a Minel Bison's 20 inch medium crash here. We have the Stag Bell because it's cheap and why I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on that. Right here we've got the Dream Contact 20 inch crash ride. I use this just to beat the crap out of it. This ride gets more attention, almost as much attention as the hi-hats do, and it is the old Avidus Ping Ride. The, the one that's been used on tons of recordings, not the new A Custom. Love this ride, love those hats. Now we go on to this guy. More classic customs, 18 inch dark mono china. Uh, now, to the part that everyone loves, and I get so many compliments on, since I've done a ton of videos, but since I've switched to Remo heads, I have gotten more comments about how great these drums sound. So, here we go. We have landed finally on the Remo, you can't see that, the Remo Power, uh, the Power Stroke P77 Color Tone. Uh, we're not probably always gonna use a color tone, but it's the P77 Clear, basically. That thing sounds killer. Um, the other snare head I use is a Power Stroke 3. I know it looks like a pinstripe. Two rings around the drum, Power Stroke 3. Yes. So we use P77s and Power Stroke 3s depending on the mood. So moving along, we have, no, it's not a dot. It is a Power Stroke, you can't see. Power Stroke 4, the P4. And on the bottom, we have the controlled sound dot on every drum. We are also using the snare weights, two of those on the floor toms. Sometimes we use them, sometimes we don't. It just depends. Going to the floor, we have new carpet. It's blue, royal. All right, anyways, we have the Pearl Demon Drives and just Pearl Hi-Hat Stand. I believe it's the reference series or master's hardware. I don't remember, it's kind of old, but it doesn't fail. So we keep it around for now, but I want to replace it with a two leg Tama strap glide, strap, the one with the strap, the, yeah. Anyways, we replaced the beaters that came with the Demon Drive because they are the worst beaters that have ever been made in any history of drum stuff, period. They suck, but we replaced them with the Tama Ac uh, AccuStrike, the new Iron Cover beaters. And on the bass drum, you can't see it again. We have the Power Stroke 3 with the dot. Yes, that's what we got. And then on the front of the bass drum, which we can't get to at the moment, we have a Power Stroke 3 resonant head. Now inside the drum, we're using an Evans uh, EQ pad, the, the bass drum pillow. And it's barely touching the front head and barely touching the resonant head. So it's pretty much the full sound of the bass drum. And that is the kit in its most, its newest form. And the blue carpet, I love it. Uh, cameras, the one I'm using right now is a GoPro 10. That's the one that's usually here. That, that view should look familiar. And then the GoPro Max is usually out in front of the kit because it's the 360 camera, so it has a super wide shot. That's what I use out in front. And then the camera that's usually over here, 
here shooting this view is a GoPro 7. Yes, a GoPro 7. Uh, microphones, we're using the SE V7X for the snare. Underneath is just a Pile Pro 57 copy, which sounds great for that. It really does. Toms, we're using the E604s. The kick drum out in front is the 602, the bass drum mic for the Evolution series. I can never remember what it is, but it sounds great. And then up top, we're using Audio Technica um, 2021s. So that's the setup as it is right now. I will do another video like next week or something because it changes that frequently. I'm always experimenting with new setups. I'm not even sure if I like the way these symbols are set up right now. It's very new. But if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if this is on a different network where you can't subscribe for free, follow. Yeah, that's right, follow because I just want you to enjoy my videos and get something out of my lessons. That's it. So until the next videos, which are probably four videos a week right now, holy crap, we'll see you then. Bye.